Whether you're passing through or you plan on staying for a while, we welcome you to Discover Jamestown. Good morning, everybody. It's Warren and Tamala again. We're excited that you're joining us again here on Discover Jamestown. We've got our plantation coffee in hand, and today we're gonna go on a scenic drive and explore over 300 types of birds at the Arrowwood National Wildlife Refuge. We're so excited for it, and we want you to come along with us, okay? Here we go. Well, we finally made it after a nice scenic drive, right, Tamala? You could say that. Uh, we got lost. You could say that too, but we're out here finally at the Arrowwood National Wildlife Refuge, excited to take in the sights and the sounds that we're gonna hear and talk to an expert about what we'll see here at the refuge. So come on inside with us and we'll see what we can learn. Hey, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hey, good, good morning. morning. Good nice morning. To Welcome to Arrowwood Refuge. I'm Paul Helco, the manager here. And uh, nice to see you folks out this morning. It's a beautiful day to be outside, but obviously we wanted to stop here first at the visitor center and really learn about some of the things we're going to be doing outside, Paul. Yeah, well, the, the visitor center, um, basically brand new. We got lots of nice educational displays uh, to learn about the refuge itself, to learn about the refuge system across our nation. Um, a lot of the displays, they, they hit on uh, the management that we do here for wildlife um, and, and uh, kind of uh, exhibit a lot of the species that you might find here on the refuge. Yeah, yeah very interesting, the inside and everything it has. Um, yeah. Is it ready if we could take a step outside, see what that has to offer? Yeah, yeah. What do yeah. we see out there? Well, there's lots to do on the refuge. We have, uh, we have an auto tour. Um, we also have stations for part of our self-guided uh, birding tour that covers the refuge and the countryside uh, between Jamestown and Carrington. Um, we have uh, hiking everywhere. The refuge is open to hiking and birding. Um, and then uh, also in the spring, we offer uh, grouse blinds where folks can reserve those blinds free and uh, go and watch the grouse uh, display in the spring. So okay. lots to do. Yeah, well, well, I think we should go take a look at it. All right, well, hey, <laughs> let me grab some binox and we can uh, enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, wow. Yeah, isn't it something? This is gorgeous, Paul. Yeah. So what are we what are we seeing right now on the refuge? Is this just a part of it or, or what are we seeing yes, right now? Yes, yes. We're at the northern part of the refuge. Uh, this is Arrowwood Lake. Um, it's the northernmost lake on the refuge. There's, there's four main lakes, um, but the refuge itself is about 14 and a half miles long, nestled in the James River Valley. Um, you know, basically, you know, uh, two thirds of it is grassland, native prairie and mixed grass, and then uh, the rest is wetland habitat in the center. So lots to, lots of bird habitat out there for you. So on our scenic drive, Tamalee, you notice a lot of birds, yes, right? We saw so many birds on the way here. Is there any, any bird species that make this area so unique? Well, the, the, the start out, you're in the heart of the prairie pothole country. So um, waterfowl all over the place, shorebirds. Uh, when you get in grassland environments, you have all your grassland songbirds. And then here on the refuge, we have these forested areas that have a lot of migrating warblers at certain times of the year. Um, there's a whole host of species you can see depending on what month you're here. Well, we're excited. We, we you know, we may take a scenic tour, but uh, we may get lost. Is there anything that will guide us along the way if oh, we need yeah. to? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have maps inside and, and brochures. Um, so on the refuge, we have a map for the auto tour, and uh, that's a, a loop. So starting point, ending point are the same. It's a good, good uh, starting point. But then from there, there's also uh, the Birding Drives Dakota tours that'll take you off, and uh, we'll make sure we get you a brochure for that. And um, and lead you on your way. Well, I suppose we'll, we'll venture out and see what we can find. Absolutely, <laughs> it's, it's a great place to be. Hi there. Hello. Hi. I'm 
Tamla. This Hi, is, Tamla. Yep, this is my brother, Warren. Uh, Hi, nice Warren. to meet you. You it's are. Nice to meet you. I'm Jill. I frequent this area quite often. I'm an area photographer. Okay, those are a weird set of binoculars you got there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my binoculars are in the car, but this is my <laughs> camera. And with this um, lens, I can get really close to the wildlife without being close to the wildlife. So I'm able to capture, you know, shorebirds and migratory birds and, and just anything I want to without disrupting them and getting too close to them. Well, and that's kind of what we're out here for, Jill. Uh, we took a scenic route to get to this point, uh, but we see auto tour. Is that automatic or, or what does that mean? That just means a driving tour. Um, people do hike on the route and they sometimes will ride horseback out here as well or bike. And it's just a, an auto tour, so it's, it's a road so it's accessible for any vehicle really. Okay. Um, and it's, it's well maintained. And so it's just a great, a great tour to take and to see lots of wildlife and just enjoy nature out here. So where do we get started? I mean, where's our first starting point? This is a great start and this will take you on the auto tour and you can't get lost, just follow <laughs> the road. And this is just a small part of, of tours in this area and, and um, birding in this area. And along with birding, you're always gonna see wildlife and other, other great things that North Dakota has to offer okay. in this area. So I do have a map book here. And so that will get you, there's over 300 miles wow. represented in, in this book. And this tour that you're starting on right now is just a small part of what is available to enjoy in this area. Well, we're going to get started as soon as possible. Yeah. 300 miles is quite a lot. So it is. We'll do what we can. Enjoy, so your, enjoy your day. <laughs>